So in this video I'm going to take a shape that I've drawn here and rotate it anti-clockwise by 60 degrees. Now um, I'm going to take each individual point and try to rotate it. Um, I'm going to start with C rather than A because um, the shape's got to go sort of round here anti-clockwise so C is the nearest one to the space that it's got to move into so I'll start with C. So everything's got to go around the center of rotation so I'm going to start by drawing a line from C to the center of rotation and then that point C is going to rotate around that point uh, the center of rotation so I'm going to take my compass and put the sharp point on the center of rotation and the pencil point on C and then I'm just going to draw uh, an arc or a curve around there so that point C has got to travel along that curved line and it's got to travel by 60 degrees so I'm going to measure 60 degrees I'm just going to uh, get the center of my angle measurer at the center of rotation and I'm going to line up the line that I just drew with zero on the angle measurer and then I'm going to measure 60 degrees 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 degrees is up there so if I just draw a line out at 60 degrees so I've just made a 60 degree angle at the center of rotation and it's landed here so that means that the point C is going to go from here round to here so I'll mark that point in and rather than call it C I'm going to call it C dash to distinguish it from the original point okay this is going to start to get a little bit messy with all the lines everywhere so what I'm now going to do is rub out some of the lines that I just made so I'm rubbing out these lines here I'm leaving in my curves for now this isn't actually the best eraser in the world it seems to be making more mess than it's clearing but we'll go with it okay so um, so that was C so it traveled along this curve 60 degrees anti-clockwise to get to there so I'm going to do the same thing with the other points. I'll start with B. So I'm going to draw a line from the center of rotation out to my point B. And then I'm going to do a curve with the point of my compass on the center of rotation and the pencil on B, just about there. So sharp point on the center of rotation pencil point on the point that's going to move and then that point B is going to move anti-clockwise somewhere up there so that point B needs to move 60 degrees along that line so we're going to measure 60 degrees so once again I'll get the center of my angle measurer on my center of rotation I'll line up zero with the line that I just drew and then measure 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 degrees is there. So I'll just draw a line out at 60 degrees. And from my point B, the 60 degrees is just about there. So again, I'll mark that in permanently and I won't call it B but I'll call it B dash okay um, so to avoid all these lines getting confusing I'm going to rub some stuff out so I'll rub out 
everything on that curve that's after B. I'll rub out the straight line I made. And then all I'm leaving in really in pencil is the, the, the curves to show that the points have travelled along those paths. I think I need a new eraser. But there we go, so CB, I'll do the same thing with D now. So a straight line to D. Sharp point on the centre of rotation. Pencil point on D. Just about there. A little bit more. Okay, and then D is going to go anti-clockwise along that path. And how far is it going to go anti-clockwise? Well, 60 degrees. So I'll put the center of my angle measure on the center of rotation, line up the line I just drew with zero, and measure out 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 degrees is there. So I'll mark out the 60 degree angle. So that's 60 in there. And then that point D is going to go round here until it hits the 60 degree line. So that's just about there. And I'll call that D dash. Going to rub out some of the lines I just made so that we don't get confused by all the lines. Um, and then finally point A. Now I left point A to, to last for a reason um, because this can confuse people. When I draw my working lines for A it's going to go through the original shape. So I'll do exactly what I did before. A line from A to the center of rotation like that. Get my compass just like before sharp point on the center of rotation, pencil point on A as before, and then I'm going to move that point A anti-clockwise. And you can see that the line I'm, or the curve I'm drawing is kind of going through the original shape and that's nothing to worry about. We can still do the same as before. So, angle measurer with the center on the center of rotation, the zero lined up with the line that we just drew to A, and then 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 degrees takes you out to here. So I'll mark out the 60 degree angle. So the point A is going to travel along this line until it hits that 60 degree marker that we just drew which was there so it goes there i'll label that a dash and then it just remains to join all of these up to make the shape Now, in an exam situation, I would always leave some of these curved lines in just to show that you know what you're doing and you did it by a correct method because it is all about the process with exams and not just the uh, answer. I mean, as it happens, I've not drawn that particularly well and I, I could have uh, kind of made that meet up a little bit. So room for improvement there. But let's have a look at um, whether we've got that right. Now, an easy way to check that is to get a bit of this stuff, which is the kind of thing you wrap your sandwiches in. And then if you just 
trace out the original shape very roughly and then what you can do is put some kind of a sharp point a pencil or something in the center of rotation and then just turn the thing around and see if it lands up over your original shape and if that's happened then you've done everything correctly